So, uh, when your bar tab is less than your cab... Are you stealing my thunder? I'm just asking a question. You're stealing my thunder. Does it mean... You know there's thunder to come. Does it mean that there's moochitude going on? You're spoiling thunder, you're stealing thunder. Or, does it mean that you just drink cheap Not only are you a dad joke machine. Yeah. You're a thunder stealer. I totally am. <laughs> just a bad person. You know what sometimes is really fun is to wait until someone tells a really amazing story and right when they get to the best part, interrupt them and finish the story and for them. And then kick a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's drink Glen Roths. Here we go. All right, Glen Roths, we're drinking. Mm -hmm. uh, requested by Pippa Robinson. That looked like the Ball Blair bottle. We should, nah. we should also pull out the bulb layer just to compare to see if the bottle makes them similar. See, look how similar it is. No, it's not similar. Similar color, but it's, it's similar. It's worth whiskey. comparing nonetheless. No, 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 no. Nonetheless. No, 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 no. We have other things to compare. We have... <laughs> Rex, you are the greatest whiskey mooch! Uh, Pippa Robinson requested this one. Mm -hmm. What Pippa doesn't know... And by the way, this is not the Select Reserve. Pippi, you said the Select Reserve. This is the bourbon cask. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so um, it, t it smells like liquid, uh, liquid Werther's Originals. Already on the nose, I like it. Like yeah. just butterscotch totally candy. Totally butterscotch. Now, here's what's interesting. The taste, yeah. slightly bitter mm -hmm. and earthy and gr dried grass notes. Mm. And so the taste, total contrast to the smell. I really love this whiskey. Um... I didn't love it at first because it was so candied sweet, but the more I tried it, the more I was able to find a little bit of the earth notes ba back in there. So it's, it's and here's what's weird about complex. That. Yeah, it's complex. I think it's not as complex as someone thinks. I also really love what they're doing, which is just and they started this a while back, a long time ago, maybe one of the first. Remember how Bob Blair is doing vintage releases, hmm. where they just say, "Hey, this was bottled at this time, and so we're going to release it as a ten-year-old." Yeah. Okay. That's what they're doing. Okay. They're going around the, the, the story, trying barrels until like, this barrel's ready. Right. And then they just bottle it as a bourbon reserve, regardless of how old it is, did you when just, they think it's ready. Did you just mention a whiskey? I know, I really did just mention Bob you, Blair. You, you mention it. No, it doesn't taste anything like it though. It's not even a fair comparison. I challenge that. This is such a coconut. I get coconut all of a sudden. So you're talking about complexity. Uh, I smelled it and I actually get less butterscotch than what I was anticipating. Mm -hmm. So you're saying the taste is different. Um, and it's complex, but not in terms of there immediately being, simultaneously, multiple things going on. For me, it unfolds and evolves into different flavors over time. So you'll have a flavor, a few seconds later it turns into a different flavor, a few seconds later a different one after that. It's not yeah. everything at the same time. No, it's earthy. I mean, the aftertaste is totally different than the first sip. It's, it's a damn good whiskey, man. I, yeah, and this is very friendly. You used to be able to get this at Costco when I lived in California. Not challenging at all. But, um, I, oh no, not challenging. I, um, no. I think I like the smell better than I like the actual taste. I agree with that. Mm. It's a bit astringent on the flavoring. Yeah, saturated, big sweetness there. Now, you want to hear but a cool story? It goes from Apple. About Glen Rothis? Is it, like, cool, cool? Yeah, it's, I think, Hold on. I have a theory. So here's the thing, I is think it, they- Is it cool, cool, or is it Daniel cool? I think it's the story of a, like, maybe even a master level mooch in action, but the distillery didn't even realize the it was new, happening. The new thing is, I'm trying to get it across the room- Into a trash can. Into the trash can. Didn't happen. Missed it by a mile. No, like three feet. Mile. Yeah, and I'm not throw. I'm not throwing them. This is not horseshoes. I'm flicking. Close doesn't count. Flicking. And if I get that, then I get all of the McAllen in. Ah! <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> uh, you can this, put the trash can anywhere. Suddenly this game became a lot less fun for me. <laughs> okay. So, uh, no, I think Glenn Ross told us by accident the story mm. of a master level mooch. Mm. And uh, they didn't even realize what was happening. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Yeah, yeah. So, way back in the day, um, Colonel Grant, who founded Glenn Ross, was in Africa on a safari. He finds an orphaned child on the safari. Mm -hmm. Takes him, brings him back to Scotland. And he ended up working for the distillery and for the family and hung out and he was one of their people, right? So he died, even played on the local football team. Right? Yeah. Um, his name was Baiwe Makalaga. Hmm. 
by way of Makalaga. Yeah, yeah. He died in 1972. So um, seven years after that, they're installing a new pair of stills at Glen Rothes, mm -hmm. right? And um, while they were moving things around and rearranging the distillery, multiple workers report that they've seen the ghost of Byway Makalaga. <laughs> and he's scaring everybody, and no one wants to work anymore, right? <laughs> having problems. Like, the ghost is... A... So, and here's where the master mooch comes in. Are you ready? <laughs> so... Uh, they called in a university professor from Ed, but I think it was from Edinburgh. Yeah. His name is Cedric Wilson, uh -huh. who professes to be an expert in spirits. <laughs> now I guarantee Wait a you, my spirit. I know. I guarantee you, he didn't do this for free, right? Right, and that he was showing up getting poor Glen Rothis whiskey. So this is why I think they may have gotten mooched to the extreme and not realized it. <laughs> so Cedric shows up. Now, but here's where it gets a little creepy. Mm -hmm. Cedric shows up and he studies it, and he says, uh, you've disturbed the ley lines of an energy line on the property by moving the stills, yeah. and it's disturbed the spirit of Byway Makalaga. <laughs> so here's where it gets clear. According to all reports, yeah. he walks into the cemetery next to, uh, or down from the, where Makalaga's buried, doesn't realize that has not been told where the headstone is. Yeah. Walks through the whole cemetery, straight to the back and straight to the headstone of Byway Bi Bi Makalaga. Now let's just say maybe the night before he done a little research, right? <laughs> he walks straight to it alone. A little better race. Yeah. Has the talk. You know, just gesticulates yeah. and has and he comes back and he says, uh, the situation has been amicably resolved. <laughs> and from that day forward, no more ghost sightings. And Byway told me, you need to send me a barrel of your finest whiskey <laughs> yes. every year on this day. So I think we just met the forefathers of the Mooch. I think we met like one of your previous, you know, like the Highlander, there can be only one. Is like there, like we met one of your ancestors. That uh, may be a charlatan. Ah, it might be a charlatan. Which Interesting. has nothing to do about anything. <laughs> but come on, that's a pretty awesome oh, story. Yeah. All right, all right. Burley Mullins. Burley. Mmm. How does someone in Mooch loudly proclaim, you will drink their whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now here's what's, uh, here's what's also awesome. Uh, what's the next one? Matt C. Wait, all it takes to get Rex to jet is a dad joke? That's right. It's like you've discovered his kryptonite. Yes! Because every superhero has a kryptonite, and we discovered Rex's. Yeah. Yes, we did. Yeah, the dad joke. Yes, we did. What do you call a camel in the desert? You know what your dad joke is, or your uh, kryptonite is? <laughs> what? High shelves. Oh! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he went straight for the personal attack. <laughs> well, would you know what you call a camel in the desert? Not okay. Lost. Yeah, whatever. Peter, <laughs> Peter Schumacher, previously known as bioethicist. Ah, yes, Peter. Uh, I was talking, I'm, I'm like 90% sure that's right. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. I was talking to someone looking for budget smoky whiskeys. The reason he wanted budget was because he lives in Jordan, uh, the Middle Eastern country. And Whiskey's the, expensive. And the import tax would take a $50 bottle to about $175. Yeah. Dang, bro. Okay, so here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I would vote either Johnny Walker Double Black, yep, or I would vote Smokin, which I'm highly unlikely for him to get. But if he could, it's from Duncan, Johnny, Duncan Taylor. Johnny Walker Double Black is a big enough deal. It's nice. It's not hard hardcore, but it's really yeah. interesting. But Smokin is a cheap budget, and it's smoky, yep. and it's from Duncan Taylor. If he could find that, that's a good one. Sure. Uh, Tracy Simpson. Hallelujah. I finally caught up. <laughs> I've been watching all of the numbered episodes in order and now feel as though I can contribute to the community, if only occasionally. Mm. Rave, 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 all the accolades you received a hundred <laughs> times over. From the other commenters, I concur. Also, I may be your only, only viewer who was introduced to the modern rogue through the whiskey ball. Hey, we sent somebody the other way. No, no, there's millions of you. Yeah, yeah, millions. Mm. Brian owes us <laughs> big time. <laughs> Hey, look uh, what I'm doing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, don't, screw, for you. don't screw it up. I'm giving you a mooching opportunity here. <laughs> also, I made don't a... screw it up. <laughs> Sexy Rexy, what is your job there? You seem... <laughs> what do you even do? I like that you have nicknames. Sexy Rexy. Uh, you seem patently unqualified <laughs> to receive a paycheck. Come on, look at that! That's pretty good. 
to receive a paycheck for any service rendered. That's sort of the inherent quality of a mooch, I think. And I'm beside myself with curiosity as to why Daniel keeps funneling whiskey into the black hole of moochitudinous. <laughs> Perhaps it is your ever uplifting comic relief. I often... Balancing out Daniel's litany of historical facts and boring encyclopedic. Oh, throwing shade. I think that's what the kids are saying these days. Totally put that. Yeah. I, I didn't add a word. <laughs> he added boring. <laughs> Uh, no, it's right there, friends. see? Uh, <laughs> see, you can see right there. Uh, seriously, guys, love the show, and seriously, what is your job, Rex? Can't wait for the other channels. All hail the Whiskey Vault. Thank you, Tracy Simpson. It's very kind. Well, his actual job is video guy. Yeah, I'm an, I'm technic I'm not on the payroll here. No. I'm a neighbor. My studio's like 100 yards away. He makes a sh ton of video. I help. He gets paid like $4 million for every video he, he makes. Yeah, well, I have to. Come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Uh, I just held the academy with all things video related. Finish this so I can pour you this. It, we, this is the same whiskey sherry cask finish instead of bourbon cask finish. Notice the color difference. This is the Glenroth Sherry Cask Reserve. So I, this is one of those whiskeys that I would rather smell than drink. The Glenroth. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that the sherry is no different. Yeah. It's going to be even sweeter, is my guess. Even sweeter. Wow. I think I'm right. I think I'm right, just from the smell alone. This was just too much. There were, there were multiple notes. It wasn't a single note, but there was just too much of a <sighs> strong, satu saturated uh, sweetness yeah. all throughout that. I'm getting m even more butterscotch on this. Wow. Oh, no! There's smoke in that one. I think there's peat in that one. Do you think it's because... I, I like it a lot better. I haven't tasted this yet. Do you think it's because you got acclimated with something so sweet? No, I don't think so. Okay. I really don't think so. I, that sherry is way more interesting. It really is. Yeah. Hmm. Hot damn. It is. I wish I had known that earlier. Well, it's definitely preferable to the bourbon cask. All right. Until tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side illegal. May your bar tab never be bigger than your cab fare. Ah! <laughs> from Kevin Paisley. Ah, hey. cheers. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.